the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about T-Pad or Tau Pad, which is a launchpad stroke DeFi platform built or building on top of Tau. Okay, guys, BitTensor. Now, if you have been living under a rock, you wouldn't have heard of BitTensor. But um, if you haven't been living under a rock, uh, you would know that BitTensor is the leading number one uh, AI project right now. Okay, guys, when it comes to AI, you think BitTensor, okay, Tau, T-A-O. And uh, the price of Tau, even overnight, has been pumping. Okay, guys, and um, we are looking at the wrapped version of the token. And basically, you can earn the wrapped version of the token uh, just by holding T-Pad. Okay, guys, so when you go to their website and launch the app, okay, there's basically a distribution of T-Pad or, sorry, uh, not T-Pad, WTAL in rewards just for holding this particular token. Okay, guys. So, um, as you can see here, there are some taxes. Okay, guys. So, from the rewards vault, these taxes are 5% buy, 5% sell on the token. And those taxes get distributed among T-Pad holders. Okay, guys. And that drops into your wallet or you claim it over here. And then, basically, it is down for maintenance at the moment, as you can see. It's under maintenance. Okay, guys. And the reason for that being, let's just get into that. So, the reason why this is under maintenance right now is... They are having, um, uh, they are going to be launching, okay, let's just, uh, the Tau Bank, okay, Tau Bank, right? So Tau Bank is the uh, first ever lending protocol for Tau, creating Tau-backed over-collateralized stablecoins, uh, uh, sorry, a Tau-backed over-collateralized stablecoin called Tau USD, okay? So this is the DeFi layer, you know, in this project. So we have the launch pad. Um, obviously, launch pads are going to do really well and have been doing really well. We already see things like paid network, CD5 pumping, right? Because going into the bull run, um, you know, you get um, opportunities to get into IDOs, okay? And they tend to give you like 100x, 200x a lot of time. And, uh, you know, the, the way to get into those IDOs is to hold the launch pad tokens. And basically, um, you know, you can invest a small allocation into these ideals and basically get a return on your investment on whatever you invested into the launchpad token anyway so holding onto the launchpad token is normally a good bet during bull runs and as you can see tpad or taupad has been pumping that might have something to do with the fact that some very large influencers on twitter uh, have started to notice this token people like petabyte okay who believes that tau is set to be at least a thousand dollars a pop or looking for a run to $100 in the early stage. Okay, guys, Petabyte having 66,000 followers. Um, and also Spider Crypto, I know, is, is following Tao and Tao Bank, who also has like 100,000 followers. I don't believe that he's posted about it yet either. So, uh, you know, some really um, big influencers taking notice. And um, this project is getting the uh, attention it deserves, or so it seems. Now, another thing which stands out is the circulating and total supply sitting only at 1 million. Okay, guys, so it's a very low supply token. Uh, so sitting at $16, you know, you might think, oh, oh, this isn't, you know, five zeros and a penny or 12 zeros and a penny. It doesn't have the low unit bias, right? But what it has is a low supply. Okay, guys, so this price is very low. Uh, considering what it is sitting at 15.8 million market cap okay there's potential for this to pump all right guys so you know this one thousand dollars where it is where is it where's the tweet this one thousand dollars or this one hundred dollars that petabyte is talking about is not you know it's, it's not out of the question okay it's not you know a crazy price prediction okay guys and that's because of the low supply at one million tokens okay guys so you know, I think this has got some bullish tokenomics, in my opinion. It's 1.47 thousand holders. Liquidity is very generous as well, 648k. Um, not far from a million dollars worth of liquidity. So, um, you know, it's going to bring the whales in, or that could bring the whales in, although they might not like the 5% tax. Okay, guys, but if you do understand why the tax is there, obviously you're earning rewards, right? There's a distribution of WTAU. So if you're bullish on WTAU, Basically, staking Tau, right? Uh, delegating Tau 
Um, if you buy Tau on exchange, send it over to your Tau wallet. You can stake it. All right? I believe you get between 14 and 16%, or it might be up to 18% on Tau. Okay, guys. So this might be a leverage play on staking. Okay, guys. So uh, as well, you know, I'm not sure what the APR is on Taupad. Okay, um, for the distribution of rewards, but obviously it's based on the taxes and so on. Obviously the revenue, um, and then they buy uh, WTAL. Uh, they also stake for WTAL, and then they basically sorry they they stake for TAL and then they drop WTAL to you. You can claim it in the launch pad or the you know the the UI basically, and um, yeah, but it may be more than eighteen percent. I don't know. But um, ultimately, you also get the price appreciation of this token. You get the price appreciation of the the Tau token and so on. Okay. And then you get the opportunity to invest in the launch pads. So um, a lot of information there um, about it. Okay, guys. They partnered with Layer Zero. Okay. So they're getting the partnerships. All right, guys. They're getting their name out there. Um, let's just quickly go back to the website. So it's making Tau liquid and interoperable powered by t-pads value accrue design okay guys so again it offers holders benefits through delegated tau staking uh, it's a big tensor focused launch pad and a bridge for w tau transfers between ethereum and arbitrum okay so that's another thing you can actually bridge between ethereum and arbitrum so they've got the bridge the tau bridge okay guys uh which you can use over there and uh, yeah, so they are building. They've got a pretty good product or project, in my opinion, from where I'm standing. And uh, I thought I'd share this with the community because it looks really good. It came out over in December, um, in the middle of December. Okay, pumped, came down. All right, guys. And uh, seems to have found a nice base down here before we got those tweets. And now it is pumping to the upside. So chart is looking good because it is currently in price discovery it's never been here before okay guys so new all-time highs um fluctuating between 16 dollars or 18 dollars and 16 dollars at the moment uh would there be more upside for this you know in my opinion this looks like it is going to do a little bit of a parabolic run uh, to start with and then maybe like another pullback sideways and then maybe another leg uh potentially but where it's sitting, it, it, the chart does look really good. All right, guys. So, you know, you might think, you know, you missed it over here at $7, $6. All right, guys. But it's still pretty cheap when you look at the supply and, um, you know, basically what they're building. And again, they haven't even launched the uh, the Tau Bank yet. This launch is in early February. Okay, guys. So, you know, um, obviously, stablecoin, collateralized stablecoin, all that sort of stuff. DeFi is going to be big this year as well um you know ai is going to be big this year tau is going to be big this year launch pads are going to be big this year it's got a lot going for it guys so uh yeah take a look into this project remember it's not financial advice do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but that's really all i've got for you in this video uh let me know what you think in the comments uh, so do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video and i'll see you in the next one